Wait for it. Wait for it. A little bit longer. Here we go. Nearly. Almost. Yeah. Hello, random people. Hello, how are you all? Good. Uh, this week, very weird week. Ah, the, it's very weird week this week. But, but, cool things have been happening. Mars, Mars, the other planet, where the aliens come from in a lot of old sci-fi movies, because a lot of old sci-fi writers didn't really have a lot of imagination about where aliens could come from. There, and Venus, Venus tended to be evil women from Venus. Mars, green, Martians, because they're from Mars, like we're Earthens. Anyway, uh, yes, but Mars, we landed, we, I'm claiming, the world did this, not just America. Let, let's, it's we did this. Landed Curiosity on, on Mars, which is epic. Not only, not only did they send this little thing, little, this, this probe from Earth to Mars, which is, is seven light second, seven light minutes away. Seven light minutes. So it takes like seven minutes to get to where Mars is at the moment. It went that far, but they landed it pretty much where they wanted to land it. And it had multiple stages of descent. It was epic and awesome. And, and I'm not talking about little pokey, like, like Rover. There was a little pokey one, like a remote control car and it would buzz around. Boring. This, this is a one ton, one ton. It's like a Mini Cooper. They landed on Mars and is now brumming around Mars, which is, is epic. And it has a laser. It has a freaking laser on top to shoot rocks. I don't think there's any scientific application for that other than the scientists, you know, when they get a bit bored, they can turn on Pong on one monitor or they can shoot the Curiosity's freaking laser at rocks and etch names in the Martian sand. It's the equivalent of writing your name in the snow. Girls, you can't do that. But if you work for NASA girls, you can write your name on the Mars and Martian planet with a freaking laser. How cool is that? So Curiosity, awesome. It, I, I can't begin to talk about how awesome I think that is. We, we need to get off of this planet. While we're all on this planet, that's Earth. That's my hand Earth, and it's going around the sun like that. Basically, it doesn't take much to kill us all. I mean, we're doing quite a good job at killing ourselves anyway, but it doesn't take a lot from space to kill us. One major solar flare, we're dead. Uh, one fairly smallish asteroid hitting us, we're dead. And, and mini black hole flying through the solar system, we're dead. There, there are quite a few things that can kill us, so we need to get off of this rock as quickly as we can. And, and the moon would be a good staging post, then to Mars, then who knows where. And, and then, but we need to work together as humanity. I have this problem. This is one of the reasons I don't understand racism. Maybe it's because I read too much sci-fi, but I don't see myself as fundamentally different to anyone else. I don't see the fact that I was born in... I was going to say born in the UK, but I wasn't born in the UK. I was born in Australia, but I'm a UK citizen. I don't see that. That doesn't differentiate me from someone who was born in France or Russia or America or, or Nicaragua or anywhere else. We're all the same. And I don't understand why people have a problem with that. And I don't understand borders. I, I mean, I understand what a border is, but I don't understand why we have them. In the 21st century, why is there a distinction between... UK and France. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I see us as humanity. And, and so issues of race really, really confuse me because I, I really honestly confuse me. If you can explain it to me, please do. Because I don't see we're, we're humanity. We need to work together to solve the problems. I mean, we're doing a very, very good job of killing ourselves anyway. And most of that's to do with perceived minor differences between people. And I don't understand. This isn't funny. This is actually confusion. This is me being confused. I don't understand why these things matter to people. But anyway, so we're human. We need to get off of this rock. We need to get out there. Otherwise, we're going to die. And I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I think that's fair. What else has happened this week? So Mars, Curiosity, awesome. 
and you should keep an eye on that because it's going to be awesome. They're going to find life on Mars, is what they're going to do. The last thing that went up there, they found a box, they, well, they got a box of soil, and they analysed the chemicals in it, and they found that over time the chemicals changed. Now, there are a number of natural processes that could account for that, but one of the more likelier ones is that there's some sort of biological process going on there, which means microorganisms or bacteria, which would be awesome, but the, it didn't have the instruments to detect if that was true, whereas Curiosity does. So we could actually, in the next two years, two Earth years, which is one Martian year, um, find that life exists outside of Earth, which is... I can't even begin to describe how amazing that is. The, the, an evolutionary path completely separate to our own, or, or anything on our planet has happened and, and created life. That's just epic. I mean, there are creatures on this Earth that have completely separate evolutionary paths to humans. So octopuses, 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 not octopi, I know it's not octopi, octopuses, octopuses. It sounds slightly rude, so that's what I'm going with. Their eyes are, in fact, better than our eyes. So intelligent design already gets blown out of the water there because why give octopuses, octopuses better eyes than humans? That makes no sense if you're a god. But anyway, they've got better eyes than us. Um, and their eyes work in a very, very similar way to ours, in the lens and the gloop and, and the way it works. But there is no common ancestor between us. And so their eyes evolved completely separately to ours and came to the same end point essentially now that's awesome and, and and to have that happen on another planet not to the level of eyes obviously unless there's just an eye in the martian soil which would be very creepy curiosity zaps a rock with a laser and underneath it there's just an eyeball there looking around can't run away it's just frightened shaking slightly staring at this big mini cooper-esque robot with a freaking laser just scared. That might happen. Unlikely, but it could. And um, what was I talking about? Okay, yeah, science. Awesome. Anyway, life on Mars is going to be found. It's going to be freaking amazing. And that's going to spur a new stage of us exploring the solar system and finding life. And I think we're going to find that life is far more common than we realise it is. Maybe not higher orders of life, but bacterial life is far more common than we think it is. That's Mars' prediction for the future. What else happened this week? Went to the hospital yesterday for my checkup. <sighs> In and out in 20 minutes, that was good. That was pretty much the only good thing. If it sat there and the doctor saying, well, you're okay today, but tomorrow you could be pants, is not so much fun. They didn't use the word pants. I, that's Mark's translation of doctor speak into English. Um, but that was a bit pants. Um, Monday, ooh, someone threatened to sue me. I, I thought, I, I imagine they thought it would be intimidating. I laughed my ass off. It was, it made my Monday. I feel like I've grown as a person because I've been able to laugh at the fact that someone thought they could sue me. And and they were wrong. And they know they were wrong. I'm sure they know they were wrong. Or they've twisted the past to to make themselves feel right. But they were wrong. They had no case. And, and yeah, I laughed quite a lot. It was good. I, it was good in a way. It helped me grow as a person. Anyway, I've witted on. Not funny. Sorry, these aren't funny. I'm gonna, I might change the title of these. These are more Mark randomly chats about random subjects. Um, I did another video last night while high on trial. <laughs> My other half decided to show me how to make a cooking apple erupt. Now, there's a video on the channel. You can go back one. I might do the ping. No, I'm not going to do the ping thing because I'm not very good at it. But go back one on the video and you'll see it. And it's awesome. It's awesome. You want to see it. Science with Mark is awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Goodbye, random people. Have a lovely weekend. Bye, random people. Bye-bye.